I feel like there was a bit of pride to be a human being at one point. Even if they didn't have a lot of money, they still made an attempt to wear their best clothes when they went out in public. Now people just wear anything, do anything now. They wear their pajamas in the grocery store. Nobody cares. But but the thing is, is is like if the places you go to don't care, then why should anyone care? I mean, even the trains back then people took and you look inside and there's areas with couches and record players, like a cigar lounge, it's like little beds. And, it, you know, it's like they, they make it look nice. And then people wonder why they dressed up back then to go on these trains and to go out in public. And you could see how everything's nice. Every, every, everything that was made was extravagant. It was real craftsmanship to things. Wouldn't that make you want to dress up? You take a train now. Take a train now. There's no character to it. There's nothing about it that makes it seem like, oh, this was created for a warm, nice, relaxing environment for you. Take a walk through downtown LA. You think that's something to be proud of? You're going to dress up in a suit and go to the store? No. Why, why would you? They let people on heroin just sit in front of the store shooting up. They defecate on the street. I mean, that they, they allow all this. What are you going to dress up for? Man, people used to have so much pride. Look look how clean it used to look back then. I mean, I'm sure not everywhere looked like that, but I mean, it was almost as if like there was this collective pride in being a human being, like like walking amongst their creations. Like look look what we've done. Look what we created. Like it's something to be proud of. Look at the cars now. They suck. Take a look at some of the cars back from the 50s and 60s, even the 70s. I mean, they were just, like, there was character to them. There's no character to these cars now. They just churn them out. Spending time to craft a beautiful car doesn't fit into the business model anymore. Look what happened to Detroit. It was the number one car manufacturing uh, city in America. And now it looks like a third world country because they, they all moved out. Yeah, the entire industry moves out. Done. It just all falls apart. There was a classic car museum. And you could see all the way from the beginning up until maybe like the 50s and 60s and early 70s where the cars had so much character to them. Then then when it starts getting to like the 80s and the 90s and it's over. You know, it's funny. When I first walked in, there was an exhibit of cameras, stuff from the 20s all the way up until now. And it's funny you know, and they actually had stuff from like the early nineties, like a digital camera. And it's just like, it's plastic. It's like, why is this even in here? Why are we even celebrating? You could just see the comparison from everything before then, like how much character, how how well made it was all the way up into like this little digital camera just made out of plastic. It's like, this, this is nothing to put in behind glass, throw it out. Shouldn't be worth anything. I, I shouldn't even be looking at this right now. But just seeing all that stuff in contrast made me really appreciate the craftsmanship that people had back in the day. There's a pulse and a heartbeat behind it. I guarantee you, if you surround yourself with stuff like that, you'll see what I mean. I want to start surrounding myself with things that are meaningful that came from an idea that someone was passionate about, someone who made a product that they were proud of. I wish we could get back to that. That's why I feel like we do need some sort of a reset here. There needs to be some kind of a wake-up call. The soul is being removed from everything. We can do so much better than this. We have so much to offer as people. We're so creative. We have so much potential. We shouldn't be craving the things from the past to come back today. It should already be here.